The black sheep of the family is the person who obviously is very different from the rest of their family. If all of your family share certain morals, values, or a way of doing things and you just always kind of deviated from that and you really can't relate to the things that they are interested in or the way their mind works then most likely you are the black sheep of the family they usually don't get their emotional needs met at all like their need for protection security love affection attention the black sheep most likely was deprived of those things and so when they grow older they are still actively seeking out those things Hey y'all, so my grandmother has ascended. She passed away last night in her home and I, I wasn't even gonna post this video because as you can tell by the title, it's about me, you know, feeling like I'm an outcast in my family and I felt like it would be insensitive to post this video. It is, the first time I've ever experienced someone in my family who actually had a, you know, it was like a close death. So I'm, I'm, I'm processing everything. I'm kind of up and down, but I do believe in divine timing. And the interesting thing was that, as you'll see in the video, I was kind of getting to a point where I'm like, I'm just ready to be done with the dysfunction of my family. I'm gonna go on about my life and you know just find peace in that and then this happens and it's a situation that is forcing my family to come together you know I'm still gonna post a video what I hope people take away from this and what I'm kind of taking away from this is that you know if you separate yourself from people whether that be family friends you know whatever loved ones exes whatever it's okay to do that for your well-being but if you're gonna cut off ties with people completely just make sure that you are mentally and emotionally prepared to handle if something were to happen to them and you weren't able to make peace with the dynamic that you guys left things off on so anyway I say all this to say that I hope you guys still take away something from this video give people their flowers while they're here say what we feel even if we're being stubborn or pride is getting in the way and I hope that if you are experiencing any sort of dysfunction animosity anything going on with your family that you guys can reach a place of healing or you can reach a place of healing and find comfort in the fact that you did all you could and that you separated for your own well-being so i love you all and we'll go ahead and get into it all right here we go here we go here we go here we go what's up y'all it's your girl tynesha renee here um i don't really know how to introduce today's video i'm freestyling this this could be like a vent session it could be like a, a healing type of session i guess we'll see where it takes us but as you can see by the title i'm gonna be talking about how i feel like i am the black sheep of my family now before we move forward i just want to say that i am not trying to bash anyone in my family but at the end of the day my channel is all about being transparent and i'm hoping that with this video maybe you guys can give me some insight on how to cope with these feelings or maybe it'll resonate with someone out there in youtube land who kind of feels the same way that i do and knows that you know someone out there feels what they're feeling i know that for a lot of people family can be a trigger word because a lot of people deal with dysfunction for a number of different reasons and i i experienced that i come from a very dysfunctional family and that's always been the case but within the past few months i've just been reflecting on how i want to navigate my relationship with my family and just overall thinking about our dynamic and i realized that I don't really like my family. And I know that some people might hear that and be like, oh my God, how can you say that? It's like, oh my God, so taboo to say that you don't like your family. It's not that I don't love them. I do love my family. I think that that love is just gonna be there. But if I'm being completely honest with myself, if the people in my family were not my relatives, I would not surround myself with them. And it's something that has been bothering me for several months now because 
I feel bad. I'm very family oriented and I would love to have a very close knit family, but that's never been the case. And as time goes on, I get older. I have my own life in a different state than my family. I don't really feel inclined to force a connection with them that isn't meant to be there or won't be healthy. And so what I've kind of been battling internally is how I want to move forward with navigating relationships with my family, knowing that the relationships that I have with my family are often detrimental to my well-being. One of the things that bothers me the most about family or society's view on family is that when you express how you feel, if you have any negative feelings toward your relatives, People will often say, well, that's family. You know, at the end of the day, you're family. You're supposed to love one another because you're family. And I don't resonate with that. Like, I really just feel like that's a, a bullshit excuse for people to dish out toxicity and to avoid healing themselves and facing things that they need to improve on. It just seems like pure nonsense to me to say that I have to deal with all of the bullshit that you dish out that I wouldn't take from anyone else because I happen to be born into this bloodline with you. I didn't choose to be associated with you. I happen to just be born into this situation and now I just have to tolerate unhealthy, toxic, negative energy that I wouldn't tolerate from any other human being. So when I say that I'm a black sheep in my family, I just feel like I don't vibe with anyone, honestly. <laughs> like. The values that I have, the way that I like to express myself, the type of relationships that I want to have, it just doesn't mesh. I am very much an emotional person and in my family, people never really showed emotion. I obviously like to talk a lot, I like to communicate, I like to be transparent. People in my family, they don't really do that. So just to give you guys a little bit of a background on my family, I am the youngest of eight children, okay? That's a mix of my mom's kids, which is the majority of the kids, and then also a mix of my father's children. My mom was married for several years before she had me. So most of my siblings have a different father than I do. And then she met my father and they had me. So growing up, it was already kind of like an awkward dynamic because I had a different father than my siblings did. I didn't experience growing up in the same household as them because there's a big age difference between me and my siblings. Like I'm still in my 20s. I have siblings who are in their 40s. So right off the rip with that, I feel like I didn't really fit in because they have a lot of memories and you know just childhood experiences that I never was a part of because I wasn't born at that time. I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I just feel like at least in my household, I feel like I was viewed a little bit differently than my other siblings were. I always felt like this outsider type of viewpoint. So because I was raised in this family where communication isn't something that was really valued, no one really talked about their feelings, I grew up most of my life feeling like I had to silence my voice. If I did say something, again, my siblings are older than me, it was seen as being disrespectful because I was the baby of the family, or it was just seen like, oh my God, what do you mean? What are you talking about? We don't express feelings. Saying I love you, what is that? We don't hug each other, we don't do those things. When I am operating in my most natural form, when I'm comfortable around people, I am very affectionate. I am very physically affectionate. I love hugging people. I love verbalizing how I feel toward people. So I like to tell people that I love them. I just like to feel love and share love with people. And that is completely the opposite of what my family is. We barely say, I love you. People don't really check in and see how other people are doing. But those are the things that I thrive off of. So I say all of that to say that because my love love languages are so different than the way my family operates. I felt like for most of my life I've had to silence myself. And that is actually why my channel is called Tynesha Talks because my channel just embodies me having a voice and feeling confident with vocalizing my thoughts and my feelings because I've never been able to do that for, again, the majority of my life. I have this need to prove myself in every avenue of my life just because I felt like from a young age being in my family because I was so different, I've always kind of had to prove to people like I was good enough or like, hey, look over here, I do have a voice, like I am worth listening to. And so that's something that I'm trying to unlearn as an adult. 
my makeup look too damn good today for this okay we not doing this today I think it just kind of sucks being a black sheep because you really don't know where you fit in and ideally your family is supposed to be your safe space like these are the people who you grew up with they should know you better than anyone else does honestly not many people in this world know me for real other people have seen certain versions of myself or a shielded version of myself but my family is like so far on the other end of the spectrum where it's like honestly I feel like the people who watch my YouTube channel or the people who contact me on social media those people are more like family to me than my actual blood relatives are those are the people who are checking up on me when I'm going through mental health struggles those are the people who are supporting my content telling me that they believe in me actually giving me affirmation so for a long time I think I've just felt like huh oh, how can I explain this I feel like I'm gifted I think I'm a gifted individual and I feel like I was put here for a purpose that I'm still discovering but at the same time it's just like why am I like this like why no matter where I go I feel like I don't fit in why am I born into so many different siblings and I don't resonate with any of these people like what is it why am I so different but I feel like that is also why I have this this calling to give back to other people and heal other people and be nurturing to other people just because I know what it feels like to not have that for myself and I don't want other people to feel that way but what I will say is that it's motivation for me to be better create a family that does better and just try to erase those generational traumas that I don't think that my family honestly is going to heal from. And I think that an upside to feeling like you're the outcast of your family is that you have kind of been spiritually anointed <laughs> to be the catalyst for change whether that be within your family or to make a change in society. I think that you feel those feelings you realize that shit's not working and things need to change for a reason. I think that I feel this way for a reason. I was put here for a reason. Anyone who feels like this, you feel this way for a reason. You are meant to be different for a reason. You feel like an outcast for a reason because people who are outcasts, they don't fit in. They challenge norms. They challenge bullshit. And I think that is a plus side to feeling the way that I do. But all in all, this reflection, this introspection, thinking about my family dynamics, thinking about my relationships, I really am beginning to appreciate and understand that everybody is coming in with their form of trauma and we can choose to wallow in it or we can choose to accept things for what they are and do our own form of healing so that we can in turn heal other people. Unfortunately some people are born into shitty families and they encounter shitty situations and hurt people hurt people but I'm so much at a point in my life where it's like I don't want to I don't want to feel sorry for myself that's the best way that I can put it so even though I feel these feelings and I feel this anger and I feel this frustration I'm trying to learn how to channel that into something that is bigger and greater than myself that's where I'm at with it you know I'm hoping to be out of this awkward space this awkward energy fairly soon please tell me what you think in the comments you know if you experience this feeling of not vibing with your family what caused that and how do you actually cope with it do you feel like it's worth fixing things with your family? Have you decided to move forward? I would love to hear from you guys. Even if this is just an open forum for people to be able to express how they feel, this is a safe space to be transparent. Anything that you have to release, you can do it here. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off this. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.